Welcome to Pool School. My name is Jason Hughes, and we're here in lovely Saluda, Virginia, on the water at a beautiful pool. And today we're going to talk about how to vacuum your pool. The first thing we need to talk about is the equipment that you're going to need to do this. So let's take a look here. We have our vacuum hose, and with the vacuum hose, there's two ends. One of the ends does not swivel. The other end does swivel. And on this end, it says connect to back head. So this will be the end that we're going to connect to our vacuum piece here. This is the vacuum head. This attaches to the end of our telescopic pole. We've got the bib here that the hose goes on, and this is where the telescopic pole attaches. Notice on the <clears throat> bottom side, this is the port where all the debris goes through and goes through the vacuum line and goes back to the skimmer, through the skimmer and over to the filter system, and we're going to talk about how that works in just a second. We're here at a fiberglass pool, and we specialize in fiberglass pools. Uh, and we find that this is the best vacuum head for that application because of the way that this rolls on the bottom and also because the other styles of vacuum heads have brushes on the bottom that tend to make you vacuum slower. You can't go as fast and they also um, just generally don't do as well of a job staying off the floor of the pool where this actually hovers over the debris and pulls it up into the vacuum head a little bit better. This is our telescopic pole. <laughs> Most of your equipment is going to go on the end here. This end extends by loosening up this coupling. You simply extend the pole out and tighten it back up, and it goes up to 16 feet long. Any of our equipment that we're going to attach simply goes on the end. <clears throat> you push these little tabs in here. They snap into place, and then there you go. So we're going to lay our pole out here on the ground. We're going to stretch our vacuum those out. We're going to attach the, the fat end that swivels to the vacuum head and you just generally want to push this down pretty good so it goes down pretty far so it's on there nice and snug. We're going to leave this, actually we're going to throw this in the pool now. along with the rest of the hose, except we're going to keep the one end out of the, out of the water. Get some tangle out here. All right. Now we're going to move over to our skimmer. This vacuum hose is going to go into the skimmer, but before we do that, we need to remove our skimmer basket here. So now we have accessibility to put this into the hose down into the skimmer. Now we're ready at the pool. We've got all of our equipment in the pool. The hose is attached to the vacuum head that's in the pool. Now we need to go over to the filter system and take a look over here. All right, now we're over at our pool equipment. And with our equipment, we have uh, a two-speed pump. And we have uh, two lines that are coming from the pool. One is the main drain and one is the skimmer. And what we want to do, we want to make sure that our pump's on high speed. There's a little toggle switch on the back of the pump. You just simply flip that up. You switch uh, the pump up to high speed. When you're trying to vacuum on low speed, you just wouldn't have enough suction. So now, what we need to do is isolate the skimmer line to divert more of the suction to that line so that we get more vacuuming power to the skimmer. And all we do uh, to accomplish this is simply move this handle over, so about three quarters of the suction is going to the skimmer line. We don't want to go all the way over because if we did that, it would actually be too much suction for the skimmer line and it would collapse the line. It would have some, uh, this um, pump basket here, you could tell because it would be starving for water, it would be making a sloshing sound. Okay, so we want to keep our valve in this position about three quarters of the way to the skimmer. We've got our pump on high speed, and now we're ready to move back over to the pool. Okay, we're back over at the pool, and before we put this end of the vacuum hose into the skimmer, we need to uh, prime this hose and get all the air out of it. If we were to put this hose in the skimmer right now, the pump would draw air into the line, and we would lose prime over at the pump, and it would take a minute or two to get that prime back, and this is just much faster and more effective. So what we're going to do is put this end of the vacuum hose in front of one of the returns, and that's going to force the air out. 
And as I'm doing this, you're going to see that the vacuum head is actually going to lift off the pool floor and air bubbles are going to come out and bubble. And when it stops bubbling, that's when we know all the air is out. So I have the end of the hose in front of the return jet. You can see the vacuum head is lifting. There's our air bubbles. It's going to take a couple seconds to get all those out. Now I'm going to, while I'm in the water, I'm going to put my hand over the end of this hose, which allows me to stand up so I don't have to crawl on my knees all the way over to the skimmer. And we're just going to walk over here to the skimmer. We're going to put this end of the hose through the skimmer mouth. And in the bottom of the skimmer, there are two ports down here. One of the ports is drawing the water back to the filter system. The other port is plugged off. It makes it makes no difference. It doesn't do anything at all. It's just plugged. So, okay. You kind of saw the hose jerk maybe there. What happened was the skimmer actually grabbed the hose from me, and now we're actually vacuuming. That vacuum is, is working right now, so we're going to go over and grab the pole and, and uh, start getting some debris off the pool floor. Vacuuming a pool is not exactly like vacuuming a house. You do have to go a little bit uh, more slow because the debris on the bottom will dissolve and go into the water if you go too fast and eventually settle back out on the pool floor and you're kind of defeating the purpose. As you can see, as I'm going over this debris on the floor, that is coming up pretty well. And this is basically the process. I find the most effective way to do this is to go along the edges, try to get most of the debris off the edges first, and then focus on the floor, the center of the pool, starting at the back, and just going lengthwise back and forth all your way, the way back up the pool. That seems to work pretty well for me. So that is Pool Vacuuming 101. We have set our equipment up on the side. We took the vacuum hose, put it on the head, put the head on the telescopic pole. We took our skimmer basket out. We walked over to the pump and filter system. We made sure our pump's on high speed. We diverted three quarters of the suction over to the skimmer line. Then we came back over to the pool. We primed the vacuum hose to get all the air out. Then we put the hose in the skimmer, and then we vacuum our pool.